Cause it's money making Monday It's money making Monday It's money making Monday It's money making Monday I'm just trying to secure my paper I made a plan so fucking later It's money Monday, go get it It's money out there, go get it It's money Monday, go get it it's money out there, go get it. Hey, it's money Monday, go get it. Hey, it's money out there, go get it. Hey, it's money Monday, go get it. Hi guys, it's me Ed and I'm coming back to you with another video. In today's video, we are going to cover the topic of starting an online business and this is going to be a series and I am naming this series Money Making Mondays. But before we get into the video, if you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification so that you can be alerted every time that I upload a video. If you want. <laughs> I know that I promised this series back in January and I'm a little late but better late than never or as Drake says never late is better but here we are. So in today's video we are going to cover things that you should think about prior to starting your online business okay this is going to be a series I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to make covering this topic but we're going to start from you know conception all the way to putting up your store so this is going to be a thing and every Monday we're going to cover it. I know that a lot of you want to make money online or you want to get your second income and think that YouTube is best for you, but some of you do want to open an online business. But before you do that, I'm going to need you to get your pen, your paper, your, your notepad, your iPad, whatever, your smartphone, and take notes and really take in what I'm saying here, okay? <clears throat> So I'm going to say now, I wrote everything down on my phone, so if you see me looking at it, that's why. The first thing that you want to do is evaluate how starting an online business will fit into your life. For example, do you have time to fulfill orders? And by fulfill orders, I mean pack them. Pack them and send them out. Do you have time you know, to dedicate to customer service? Because people will have questions. And regardless of if you're only able to offer customer service via email, maybe you want to offer a telephone number, text, any uh, messenger, any form of customer service, you have to figure out how will you be able to do that? Will you have time to dedicate to it? Okay, another thing you need to consider is do you have access to a printer to print um, your shipping labels and any order materials? Um, this is very, very, very important. You want to save as much time as you can by being able to print your labels to ship them off because if you have to go to the post office every single time you need to ship something and pay for the labels, it's going to be extremely, extremely time consuming and if you have a regular 9 to 5 or, or any other job, it's not going to be in the ideal situation. Also, you need to consider, does your schedule permit you to make it to the post office during its operating hours? For example, I work 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's usually the time that the post office is open during the week, okay? So you need to consider how you'll be able to ship out your orders during the week if you're not able to get to the post office during those hours, okay? You need to be able to have a plan to fulfill those orders, and it can't be that you're only gonna fulfill orders on Saturdays because that's your off day and you can make it to the post office. So you need to consider that. Also, you need to consider how will opening and running this business affect your actual job? If it will affect it adversely. For example, if you need to be able to receive packages, if you are not at home, that means you're either going to have to ship it to work or get the little slip and go on a weekend, which we all know is not the best if you have to receive them during the week. So are you able to um, receive packages at work? Will that cause an issue for you? Will you have time during the day that doesn't take away from the things you actually have to do at work? For example, will you be answering emails or shipping or whatever during your one hour lunch break, your 30 minute lunch break or whatever? Like, will you be able to do your job correctly without this online business affecting it because at the end of the day it takes money to make money and it makes no sense to open an online business and not be able to do your actual job and then you end up with a business that's still in its infancy and now you have to kind of like push it as much as you can quickly because now you have no job doesn't work 
So then after you've thought about all of that, okay, and you see how this business can actually fit in your life, I want you to then decide why you're opening this business, okay? Because a lot of people will sit down and say, can I do it? And once you realize that you can do it, now you need to figure out why you're gonna do it, okay? For example, is it because you have extra time and you just want a hobby? Um, is it because you're passionate about a particular um, item or field like you really like clothes and you want to make clothes or you really like hair or you want to make wigs or you want to sell accessories like is it because you have this talent that you want to um, make lucrative you want to monetize your talent so you have to decide why you're opening it because if you're opening it and you have no passion no gusto for whatever you're about to launch your business, it's going to be difficult because if the money doesn't start rolling in as quickly as you would like it to, you're not going to keep that same energy, that same passion, that same drive that caused you to make this business. Or when it kind of gets difficult, are you gonna be like, ah, screw it, I don't need it anyway. So you need to decide why you're getting into this because when it gets tough, you don't want to be like, oh, why did I do this to myself? No. Ask yourself before there's any stress, why am I opening this business, okay? So, you've covered how it's gonna fit into your life, why you're opening it. Then I want you to decide what your end goal is, okay? Are you going to create this um, online business um, to become your main source of income so that you want to kind of grow, quit your job, and work for yourself 100%? Is that the end goal? Or do you want to eventually quit your job and open a brick and mortar store or you don't even have to quit your job for that but do you want to start as an online business and then grow into a brick and mortar store and by brick and mortar i mean a physical store that you can go into and shop okay but just bear in mind the overhead is way different for a brick and mortar than it is an e-commerce or a quote unquote online site because rent here in new york for a store is like two three thousand dollars and you can run an online business here maybe two hundred dollars a month or less 200 is me kind of like overdoing it you know so you also want to decide if you're just opening this online business to be a secondary source of income um so you kind of like want to Start this site, get it going, and you don't want to get too big, but don't remain too small. And you kind of want to make this steady kind of um, amount of money every month to supplement your income. You still want to go to work. Maybe you want to use your website income to start another business. But you need to decide if you want to just have it as a quote unquote side hustle and you don't want it to ever become the main thing that you do in life. Okay, so now that we've discussed all of this, I want you to sit down, think of the answers to all of the points that I brought up, and then next video, we're going to get into the thick of things of conceptualizing and the steps to actually starting your business. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section and you can also email me. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Um, let's try to get this video to 200 likes so that I know that you appreciate this series and I should definitely keep it going. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.